Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and I know I'm a little bit later today, but I don't have to work. They're making up for some holidays we lost during busy season. Um, as accounting people, we weren't able to take the time off. But um, what I thought I was going to talk about today is I, in the past couple of weeks, and I think more since I've been going live in Doc V's group, I've been having people reach out to me and asking me questions about, um, you know, where I've been learning from or how I've... Um, progress to where I'm at right now, which is just the very beginning. I'm learning a lot along this journey, but it made me think about, um, I've always been, my family jokingly referred to me as the professional student. And I have always, always, always loved to learn. And I went to college, I got my degree, I even considered going back for my master's and um, things happened and I didn't go back. I've always pursued reading or knowledge or learning, but what's really been exciting for me is in this past year, the way we learn or the opportunities have changed hugely. Now there's good and bad when something like that happens, but I found good. And what I found is that um, I'm so grateful I found Doc V because he was able to help me with my weight loss journey and he introduced me, hi Jane, he introduced me to opportunities to become members of the groups that are part of his mastermind. I am not a part of his mastermind, but I have been able to take advantage of opportunities presented that I learned about through Doc V in connecting up with his mastermind. Good morning, Jane Ross. And the reason I'm kind of bringing this up is that um, I think uh, there are free opportunities on the internet, but there are also paid opportunities on the internet. And I figured that um, since there seems to be a little bit of misconception, I was going to kind of go through what I've done in the past year to learn and to grow. And it's really exciting to me because I could have gone back to college and gotten more advanced degrees, but that wasn't really going to fill what my heart wanted. And my heart wanted personal growth and the personal growth related to weight loss and getting myself set up for my future. And when I say retiring, retiring is in that I want to shift into a career that is um, more geared personally to me. And in moving forward with my personal life, I, I want to do the best job I can for my employer. But as I get into my, my later years, I want to be working for myself and directing my future that way. And this past year has given me an opportunity to meet people and to connect with people so that I could learn and grow and move forward. And again, I am not a member of Doc V's mastermind, but through him, he has introduced us to opportunities to learn from people that are part of his mastermind. And the most beautiful part of this is that during COVID, many of these people had to pivot and become online communities. And I was able to take advantage of some really discounted prices to join groups and to be part of online training programs that would never have been available to me at any other time. And I'm so grateful to that, for that because it allowed me to step up during this time of difficulty. So I'm going to kind of show you some, and thank you, Glenn. I, I used your tool this morning. I'm going to show you some of the books that led to some of the online programs. And after I'm done with my video, I'll kind of put links to anybody who has free programs. I'll tell you who I'm also involved in a paid program with, but this is about my education. I've decided that my education going forward is going to be directed and geared towards my personal growth and that I'm not going to be putting myself, if I went back to college for an advanced degree, it would be directed based on a lot of required training from my employee, from my uh, advisor. And now this opportunity with COVID and education and online training programs has provided opportunities for personal growth that touches my heart. So the first thing that I got involved with is I've been a part of bariatric groups since, oh, hi, Serena. I've been involved with bariatric groups since the beginning of my surgery, but I needed to get to something else after. I, I needed to get to something else once COVID started because I realized I needed to up my game because I was struggling and I was afraid of gaining weight. So the first person I ran into, and again, thanks, Glenn, my books are now appearing where you can read them. But I ran into Doc V and I joined his 
Challenge, which was fairly new at the time. So here's one of his books. And actually, it's kind of funny, one of the bariatric groups local here that we were meeting with, we were using this book. Um, never did I realize that I was going to end up in a group with him and one-on-one -on -one training with him. Not one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in group training with him once a week. Uh, with two people who are watching right now, so thank you. Um, but here I do have a couple of his books. Well, in being introduced to him, um, I've also been introduced to other people that I've learned from. And the beginning st step was Doc V. I got involved in his online challenge, which is a paid program. However, he does now have a Transforming Your Life group that I've been blessed through this process that I actually, he allows me to speak a couple times a week so that um, it's giving me practice getting um, out of my comfort zone uh, or making my comfort circle bigger. So um, I'm grateful to him for giving me that opportunity and I uh, will put a link to his free Transforming Your Life group. My weight loss challenge group is a paid group, but it is the greatest gift I've given me during this time because there's something even if we can't see these people in person, and I wouldn't be able to meet with him weekly in person because he's in a completely different state. There's something personal because I have friends now that even though I've never met them, um, we were able to connect via online training. And I just think that this is going to be something that continues going forward. And I was grateful for, at the time that COVID hit, lots of people flooded the market with training programs. And I think where the issue became is how do you know which one to sign on to? How do you know who's reputable? How do you know who's going to bring you to the next level? So I kind of followed what I learned through this group or through Doc V. And the next person who came into the picture for me was Chris Noggle. And Chris Noggle is Money School. And I, um, I bought this book. I read this book. And I am part of Money School. I love Money School. I've been learning about investing. Um, he's talking about real estate. Um, there's infinite banking policies. There's all kinds of information in his program, and I love his program. And I love that as part of the online community, I get to hear him and see him talk face to face. And I think that the relationships you build are even stronger because you're not one of 2,000 in an audience. I've been in Zoom rooms, small meetings, joining into these programs in the infancy of these programs and I've got to watch them grow and I've got to know the people that are directly involved in the programs. These are people that I met because of Doc V and opening the door for us. So this was Chris Noggle. He was my second step. Again, I don't believe, I'll check and if he has a free uh, group, I'll, I'll link it in my comments. Um, I am part of his paid group and I am part of like he does group uh, coaching once a month and I love that group coaching. I've learned a lot through his program. In one of his group coachings, he introduced us to yet another member of their mastermind. Again, I'm not a member of their mastermind. I've just benefited from getting involved in the programs of these guys that are all in a mastermind together. And it was Steve Sims and Blue Fishing. And Blue Fishing, he's the guy that is the art of making things happen. Um, he started his life as a bouncer, but then he ended up, uh, anything that somebody wanted, you know, like if, if you were a bouncer or you were a, almost like an event planner, but he did event planning for the rich and famous. And um, he learned ways to overcome any obstacle. And that's kind of what he shares in this book is uh, blue fishing, making anything happen. And I also, I think he may have a free group and I, I will link his free group in my comments, but I am also a member of his paid group because I like the relationships that I've been able to develop online with these different people. So this was a great one. The next one that I got involved with, um, uh, one of my APs in, in Doc V's group, we have accountability partners, and one of my APs introduced me to Zahar Mahoon, which is Unlimited Law of Attraction. And it's about shifting how you think so that you're our mind is a beautiful tool, but it tries really hard to direct us in what we're thinking about. And if we're thinking about failing and negative, our mind works to help us get there. If we want to move up into higher emotional areas and higher positive energy, we have to think in that direction. And she has a book, Unlimited. And the cool thing about this book is if you buy this book, she has a it's a 40-day workbook where you um, actually pre-pave in the morning and you journal and um, you work to improve your life 
and it's 40 days. Well, what she does is every single day she is working this workbook and she goes live for about five to 10 minutes, maybe 15 sometimes, but she goes live doing this journal book. And in this book, every 40 days she'll repeat the cycle, but you're a member of this group for free if you buy the book. So I got involved in this and I did the first 40 day cycle. And then she had a program called Unlimited Heart, which is a year of working with her. And I joined that and I've, I've seen huge results in less than three months. So I love that program. And it's nice because again, these online training programs, you are able to connect with somebody that if you went to a big, huge gathering, you might be one of 2,000 or 3,000 people and you wouldn't be able to connect with them in the way that you can connect when it's online. So these are a couple of her books that I've been uh, studying during this past year. The next guy I got involved with, and I know I've talked about him before, this one, I don't, I have purchased his online programs, but the recorded program. So this one, I find, I love his material, but I don't feel as connected to it because there's not that personal connection. With Zahara, Zara, with Zara, with um, Dr. V, with Chris Noggle, with Steve Sims, there's all there's a personal connection because they will actually go live. Steve Slims does a happy hour once a month just to connect, just to get together. He has online training programs. He brings people in from the business world to kind of help you. And his goal is that we all come together and we help each other. Um, but there's a personal connection with Doc V, with Steve Sims, with Chris Noggle, and with Zara Mahoon because you have a personal connection you have a v even though it's not face face to face there is something personal when you can see them online and it feels closer than if you were in a big conference room of thousands of people now robin sharma i love his book i've read this i i have to read this one um i love his material i actually am involved in a couple of his online communities but the catch with his communities is that it's not a personal connection it's not a group that um you're actually live with like the ones that i mentioned before but i love his material i absolutely love this book but i, I do realize i'm not as connected to it because i don't it's not a personal thing like with the previous four that i talked about but i love this and i'm definitely going to continue studying his material the next one that I definitely got involved with, and this was something that I had a dream of my entire life, is Tony Robbins. And the reason that this was kind of cool is last July, like all these other guys, and these guys had already done it, Doc V, Steve Sims, um, Chris Noggle, Zahar Mahoon, they all went live and tried to figure out how to continue the self-help training that they were doing in conference rooms before via Skype, Zoom, and internet. Well, in July of last year, Tony Robbins did his first live event, his first UPW event, and I did participate in that. And it was kind of cool, and I, I'm going to laugh because he had 33,000, but I busted something in the thing, and, and, and ironically, and it's funny, and he, he just kind of like said my name, and I'm like, oh my God, oh, this is weird. But it was kind of, you felt a personal connection because with him, I've always wanted to attend one of his seminars. And I actually attended two UPWs and that's a paid program that he had. I attended some of his five day challenges and then I also attended his um, UPW twice. And what I liked about this is that I was able to, when he talks to you, it's like me and that you see the face. So you feel like they're talking to you. So I felt more connected to it than I would have if I was in a room of 2,000 people. So I actually attended that training twice and would I attend it again? Yeah, I would because I got something out of it and I enjoyed it. So I did this and the live events, the Zoom events that he did, he had like 35,000 people. He had a 365 degree room that um, and lines of people behind the scenes that were rotating our pictures on this 365 circle that he was walking around and talking to people on during this training. So that was pretty amazing and it was fun and it made me feel personally connected. Through Doc V, this is someone from his group, um, Hazel Ortega. She has a, an, amazing, an amazing story and it is true. Her life went from bounced, text to, bounced checks to private jets. Um, I love this book. We've actually done like a vision board with her online. 
Her program is also video, so I don't feel as connected to it as I do the other guys. Like I said, Chris Noggle, Steve Sins, uh, Doc V, and Z Zara Mahoon. Those are more of a direct connection because you can see them every single day. So that makes me feel better. I, I feel like I'm in a classroom again, and maybe that's what it is with me, as I liked being in the classroom with the teacher. I was one of those students that sat front row because I... Oh, thanks, Michelle. It's good to see you. Um, thank you so much. Um, and I, I value the friendship of every single one of you. You guys have made me a better person, and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And Hazel Ortega, I know, is um, part of Doc V's Mastermind also. Again, I'm not part of that mastermind, but I have taken advantage of the educational opportunities presented from being a member of Doc V's Challenge. And Hazel Ortega, she has an amazing story. This is a great book. She had an online training program. She went live maybe once or twice. The online program was kind of like Robin Sharma's. You go in, you do videos. For me, I, I kind of like that live video where I get to see the person and I get to feel more of a personal relationship. I, I realize I'm more engaged when that's going on. So I love Hazel Ortega. I'll follow her. I'll read her material. Um, I, my weakness is that I'm more engaged when there's a, a, live, a live feed. But, but I loved her material. And um, so I guess that's what I wanted to kind of say is that um, this past year, I've always loved to learn. I have always loved to educate. I've always loved to move forward. I even contemplated going back to school for further advanced degrees. And something kept stopping me. And it was long before COVID or any of this went forward. But I do come from a family that has always, 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 and my parents didn't go to college, but they're of that generation that they went right into the workforce and had a family. But they have always, always encouraged education and always said that education is never wasted, ever. So they have always supported me continuing my studies. And I love that through Doc V and through these online training programs, I feel like my education is, is, is catered to me, to me specifically. The college environment, I think, is going to have to change. It is so costly now that I appreciate that I can train this way and I can, I can manipulate it. And I hate the... I don't mean manipulate, but I can direct my education specific to these online programs and finding, and now that I realize for myself, those Zoom where there's a live person are a stronger connection for me to stay engaged. But the catch with that is you have to stay engaged. I've noticed a lot of people get into those rooms and they'll put a black screen on or they'll put a picture of themselves up. Well, if you do that, sometimes it's easy to walk away and not be engaged. You have to stay engaged. But if you make yourself engaged, these environments are less expensive. Like Tony Robbins, like I said, um, I've always wanted to attend one of his events. Well, I was able to participate in UPW for four solid days and this man will go for 12 hours a day and it was like $395. So I would never have been able to go to an in-person event and make the travel arrangements and attend it if I had been doing it any other way. So I guess what I wanted to say is I've had people reach out to me and I think they think that... Um, that maybe I've met these people or I've been involved with them, but no, what it's truly been is that the opportunities that have been presented through Doc V's group and him introducing us to his mastermind people, his, his network, his higher up network has allowed me to join groups that have allowed me to, to reach up as they were handing down to all of us in the challenge. And these were things that are available to everyone. Even if you're not in Doc V's challenge, Chris Noggle has Money School. Steve Sims has what's called Sims Distillery. And they're about entrepreneurs trying to come together to help each other up to the next level. Tony Robbins is continually doing the UPWs. Um, Zahar Mahoon. Zahra Mahoon is definitely, when you buy her book, you're involved in her program. And she repeats that 40-day journal cycle forever. She's been doing it for at least four or five years now. And she keeps repeating it. And I've learned a lot there. So... I wanted to say that this education, if you're, if you're willing to commit to it and you find somebody that you respect that can offer you guidance, there's some great opportunities out there. And for me, I believe that this has been less expensive than if I had pursued an advanced college degree. And I got to cater it 
to improving the areas of my life that I wanted to improve. So I will put links to anybody who has free groups, but know that all the ones that I kind of mentioned, I've joined their paid groups because I think we all get to this point in, in life that um, we're thinking that this online platform is free, but all these people are sharing their education and their years of training with us. So they may have a free group that introduces you to what they're about, but if you want to move on, there, there are paid groups. The one blessing to me is because I got involved in the very beginning, I was able to take advantage of some discounts, that, some really nice discounts that some of them put together as they were pivoting into this online environment. But I love what I've learned. I'm excited as I continue to move forward. And I do know that, like I said, if you're gonna do the online training, you're gonna really have to challenge yourself to stay engaged. I don't zone out my computer because then it's too easy to walk away. It's not always, you won't always go back and re-listen to it, but I've learned a lot from these people. My life is different today than it was a year ago, and I will always be grateful to Doc V and everybody in this group. Thank you for listening. I will put links in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, I think some of them have free groups, but every one of them that I've mentioned you, to you today, I've paid for some form of uh, training. But in my heart, this is my replacement for the traditional college education of an advanced degree. I'm advancing myself personally through the use of these tools. I hope you find this useful. And Glenn, thank you for the key. My, my materials now are readable. So I appreciate that so much. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And thank you so much for listening. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks again.